Hey everybody, it's Mary. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I'm coming on. We have a blank in the store and I'm gonna show y'all how to paint. I just base coated it. It's very simple. Yellow, black, and white. There's not much to it. And tonight I'm going to show you guys how to do a little bit of decoration on it. So um, we've been busy around here, but I guess it's been a good busy, you could say trying to get all kinds of things done. It's that time of year that we spend a lot of time trying to work to make sure that everything for Christmas, fall, and Halloween is gonna be ready to go. So I've been doing a lot of that too. So uh, we have a couple of these rounds at the store as blanks. Hey Debbie, how are you? I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a long time. Hey Michelle, hey Ashley. I have a pretty doggone simple design here that I'm going to be doing tonight, but it is really, there's not much to it, but it's a good summertime, um, probably year round type of thing. And it says, welcome friends, right? And uh, we went ahead, I had it already base coated before I got on tonight because I didn't want to spend a lot of time doing stuff that uh, is kind of monotonous. And so I'm going to, uh, really it has three colors, black, white, yellow. And um, I really like the design. I have another one I'm going to do, a ladybug. Uh, we did one of these in the academy that was a butterfly design. And um, so we have actually three different designs like this one. And there's not a lot to it, but it's really cute. Victoria, how are you? Thank you, Michelle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. You guys are so great. Victoria, I've been praying for you. I know you've been having a rough go of it the last day or so. I saw your um, your post and just know that I love you so very, very, very much. And I'm praying for you. Heidi, Karen, how are y'all? I am doing really pretty good. I have been busy, but y'all, it has been, it's today has been a really good, when I say busy day, it has been busy, but it has been so I don't know it's one of those days I feel like I got a lot of things done and I didn't you know everything just kind of flowed so I'm very very grateful for the day I've had today I have gotten a ton of work done but none of it seemed hard it all just kind of flowed and smooth you know kind of just went in. Joyce how are you Victoria says thank you you're so welcome Victoria uh, sometimes I think people need we forget or I do to say that I love you so very much and I'm praying for you and I know you're going through a difficult time, but I just love you. Trish, I love the sun and the yellow and white. You know what? I, you cannot go wrong with black and white in my opinion. And of course, I have to have a little bit of yellow on this design. And you don't typically think of yard art as just, you know, a black and white is gonna look good. But I think in this case it does because obviously so much of what we do is holiday stuff. And, um, this could be a year round. I'm gonna show y'all in a little while. Some of you may have already seen it. I have it sitting over here. The butterfly one that I did in the academy, but I'm gonna show it to you just so you can look at the pole. I'm not gonna do the pole on this one tonight because I don't have the time, but you, this thing can also, it comes with, if you buy the round, it just comes with the green steak, right? And it, but you can also buy a pole where this thing would mount up tall, but I'll show y'all that for you. Before I go, bye-bye. I just finished the National Hall sign. Got a poly and seal it tomorrow. That's awesome. Uh, and Kim, I did see your email. I haven't had a chance to respond, but I'll take care of you. Uh, Robin and Tammy, how are y'all doing? Are y'all painting or are y'all just kind of hanging out at home on a Saturday night? Yeah, get that. Uh, let's see, what did I do today, y'all? I took pictures of all, all sorts of stuff. I painted all sorts of stuff. I was over at the shop for a little bit. Um, trying to help a customer. She bought, y'all, people come to our store and they think we're, we are miracle workers and, I'm, and uh, I try to tell them we're not. She bought a really, this customer bought something on Amazon that was really cute. It was a capital letter for her um, um, daughter's bedroom and it was like 12 inches. But inside that capital letter, her name was Kennedy. The word Kennedy was carved out down the down the long part of the of the K, and she really wants us to make her another one, making it a lot bigger. And I told her it's not that we can't do it; it's just that I have to draw it. And um, 
I've got to spend some time doing it. And then, of course, you know, she actually had hers lighted. I told her, I said, I wouldn't do the lighted one. But maybe I can get to that tomorrow. I think it's a good idea to do a capital letter with the child's name cut out. So the K came down like this, right? The long part of the K. And it had the letters Kennedy cut out. It looked really good. She didn't like it. Well, she liked the design, but she didn't like the fact of how little it was. So uh, I was meeting with her today, and I was trying to explain to her that I have to draw, draw all that up, and that takes time, you know. So, but um, it was kind of one of those days we had a lot of people at the shop with problems. And um, she's like, well, y'all can do anything. It's like, well, that's really technically maybe true, but it doesn't mean we can do it economically. <laughs> so, I'm putting a lot of black paint down in here. Mary Kay says, hey girl, how are you doing? Mary Kay, I'm doing good. And I saw, uh, Mary Kay, that you went ahead and bought, I think you bought two tickets to the October one on this guy. Smart thinking. Uh, we have already sold several tickets to that, even though I think I'm going to have to cap it at 10 just because it's so much work, even though it's not until October. I'm doing pretty good, Mary Kay. Are you getting on a painting done? You told me here a while back you had a lot of blanks at your place, so you better get to painting them. Good news is you got plenty to keep you busy. So I'm just kind of putting a lot of paint down in this line. And uh, y'all are going to see me almost every day next week. I'll be doing a lot of red, white, and blue stuff. We have uh, three or four different new blanks for uh, Patriotic. I'll be doing the version of the Ladybug for this one. And um, I think I might even do, I, I drew a Santa driving a red truck. And he's got his little arm kind of hanging out the side of the truck. I'm going to paint it. If I like it, then I may do that one for y'all as a blank. If I don't, no can do, so we'll see. Some, you still have a few. <laughs> It'll give you a lot to do. Uh, let's see. You said you're bringing your daughter with you? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I figured that when I saw that you had bought two of them, I figured you were bringing a family member or something like that. And uh, I didn't really look to see, but hopefully you left me the last name uh, when you signed up. If not, just type, to, uh, you know, you can always email me. You have my email. Email me your last name that you want on your sign, so I'll make sure, because that's what we do. We'll have that part ready for you when we when we start the party. So I'm just coming here, and I'm having to put quite a bit of paint. Now, I just, I, I, um, I watered down this black paint, y'all. I love this black paint that we've been using from Home Depot, but it gets a little gummy, and I water it down to make sure I can make that paint go exactly where I want it to go. Because to me, your, your word welcome is very important that it really uh, stands out from afar. Bring back any of last year's Patriotic that sold out. You know, I haven't looked at that, Kim. I, we probably will. Uh, in fact, I think I'm at the point now, I got so much work done this week, I think I'm at the point now where I can go in and take a look at those blanks that, because we are sold out of a lot of them. And, um, and probably we'll be cutting some to get them back in stock. It's been kind of interesting, y'all, because, you know, Ashley's been otherwise engaged, and so it's kind of been all on me uh, to get a lot of this stuff done. But uh, we're out of some blanks, but I'll be cutting this week, and I do think we'll be bringing some of that patriotic stuff back. Shirley, how are you doing? And Marsha, it is so good that y'all are here hanging out with me. I am doing a Bumblebee welcome. And uh, it's just a very simple design. There's three colors on here, so there's not a lot. But it's a good year-round sign, and we have these already at the store as blanks. And uh, we have this one and a ladybug, which I'll be, I'll probably do the ladybug version tomorrow, tomorrow night. It seems like nighttime is about the only time I can get on here. I'm pretty, uh, running around a lot during the day. But I think also nighttime is probably a good time because a lot of people are winding down their day. Almost done with this. And I think what I'm gonna do, y'all, 
I want to, on that yellow part, I'm going to do just something very simple, some simple polka dots that'll make it really kind of stand out. I'll turn it this way so you can kind of see. See just the difference in the W-E-L-C over here, right? And then I've got to touch up these other letters. But uh, just take that black paint and water it down to get it to go in those grooves the way you want it to. There's a lot of black on here, but I think it looks good. This one, you can, uh, it's 22 inch round, and I can't remember what price it is, y'all, but it's 22 inches round is what it is. And it's at the store. If you get this one, it'll come with a green steak. It won't come with Poro Steel. It'll come with a green steak. Because it'd be a little bit of top heavy on that Poro. Almost done here, and then putting some polka dots on it, y'all. I'm just getting those letters nice and even. They're not perfect, but they're even. And that's really what you care about. You're not really looking for perfection here. You want them to look nice, but they don't have to be perfect. Almost done. Then I'm going to put some polka dots on that yellow. I have the ladybug, y'all. Honestly, I think the ladybug is my favorite. But it's probably because I really like the black and red together. The black and red really look good. But I like this yellow and black. this up and we'll put some polka dots on y'all you can tell I've got quite a bit of paint down here but that's just to get that CNC line to disappear that's what you have to do you have to put quite a bit of paint down in there we have a um, patriotic wheelbarrow that I'll be doing next week Got firecrackers in it with a little American flag. Then we have a patriotic hat that I'll be doing next week. Hi Sharon, hi Trina and Marsha. Y'all tell me what you're doing. Y'all hanging out at home and uh, just uh, chilling on a Saturday night. I've got a lot of stuff done today and it's been a good day. But I tell you, I'm gonna go in there a little while and go lay down. This welcome sign, I really like it. And there's not a whole lot to it, y'all, if you want to paint it. There's just not, you know. Just kind of get it down in those CNC lines is all I'm doing there. I'm going to put some polka dots and touch up friends. And that's probably all we're going to be doing. Okay. I like this idea, I think, y'all. I think, I think, I think. So I've got my little foam bat pouncer, right? I'm just kind of come over here. I'm not going to put a lot of polka dots, but I'm going to put, and then I'm going to put some white polka dots around the uh, edge. Oh, let's see. Doesn't really, you don't need a ton of them. And the way I think about this, I think about positive and negative space, y'all. So positive space would be space where you have paint on there, right? some kind of decorative paint, not just base. And negative would be where there's no paint. So the idea is just to put enough positive on here that it looks good in that negative area. And you could do larger polka dots. I just kind of decided I wanted something kind of smaller. But larger might look good too. polka dots and then I think I'll be right there for that. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take the word friends. It's not um, quite got enough paint on it. So I'm going to just go over it and I'm, I'm going to actually go over those CNC lines because I want this to be bigger than what is on there now. So don't feel like you have to stay with it within the CNC lines. If you want your design to be bigger, you just paint it bigger. That's all you do. I want friends to be bigger. 
So I'm going to paint it bigger than the CNC line. That's all I'm going to do. And you'll see, I think it'll make it stand out more. So um, we have, uh, I've been working on porch greeters. I've been wanting to do them for several years. What you see behind me is uh, two Christmas ones, but I made this week, I haven't finished it, I made two witch ones, one with orange lights and one with purple, and I made a patriotic one. Y'all will be seeing it soon, especially the patriotic one because it's an Uncle Sam and it's got uh, clear lights in it and he's really cute, but I haven't finished it. Uh, porch greeters are just as cute as they can be, and I really... The reason I've never done them, y'all, they're a lot of work to set up because the light pattern, of course, you know, I always think I have to put lights and everything. The light pattern, when you have those small lights, it's a lot of holes, and you have to sit there uh, in your design program and make sure you put those, first of all, that you get the holes the right size, so you have to measure them a lot, but also that you get them center to center correct, so that way you don't have to skip a lot of them and you don't put extra holes in there that you don't have lights for, if that makes any sense. So um, it's a lot of work to do those porch breeders as far as the design, getting them set up, which is, and then I was working on that this week and I was thinking, well, I guess this is why we haven't done a lot of porch breeders. And honestly, it would be a lot better if I didn't, it'd be easier if I didn't put lights in there, y'all. But the lights, they just look so good. I'm really missing painting, I know. I, actually, you have had your hands full, and I can I can tell that you are doing a great job. You're such a good mama, and you will get back to your workspace. I so, Kathy says, I wish I looked closer to you. Love to come see your store. Oh, I do, Kathy. Well, one of these days, if you ever go on vacation, come to Houston. That's where we're just south of Houston is where we're at. And come see us. I think it was Zelma that was telling me she's going to come see us. She doesn't live near here, but she's going to be in this area this uh, in May. I'm kind of excited to meet her because she's always on our lives and stuff. And she does a lot of blanks from us. So I'm almost done with friends. And then, y'all, I think the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do some polka dots around the uh, edge. I just made my friends bigger because I did not think it was quite big enough. We put one coat of white on there uh, before I got on here. And it wasn't enough and I didn't have it big enough. All right, but I'm almost done. Y'all are going to see how easy this is. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, I was looking at the people that we get our lights from and I found these purple lights. Y'all, I'm a crazy person for purple at Halloween time. Of course, you have to do orange, and I do have one porch greeter that's got orange lights, but I also have a porch greeter that's got purple lights. I love purple, love purple. Uh, let's see. Is the brush you're using now is perfect to use for painting the letters? It is. It's a um, number four script liner, which is what I use all the time. I use it all the time. That's really all. Yeah. Thank you for that. Sherry says, I'm excited about your porch greeters. Love them and can't wait to see the new ones. Uh, Sherry, when uh, I made these two kind of uh, like, I really, I took a lot longer making them than what I should have. But anyway, uh, because I couldn't make up my mind what I was going to do. And so then once I got those down, I thought, you know what? That I, it's like when you do something for the first time, it takes a long time. But then once you kind of get your mojo figured out, Y'all know what I mean by that? Once you kind of get that figured out, then it's really not that hard. And uh, so I made those two, and then I made one with a kind of a real ghastly witchy face with a pumpkin under it. And that's the one that's going to have orange lights. And then I made a little witch where she's just standing up, and her whole, there's, you don't paint the body except black. It's just a black dress. And I put purple lights throughout that dress. Now on that one, we're gonna have, we're gonna do a ribbon, a bow at the bottom. Okay, so she'll have, think of purple, green, and uh, orange bow at the bottom, a black witch, she's got purple lights all in her, and at the top, it says, come in my pretties on the crossboard. It's really cute. I don't think 
I'll get to work on that until next week. Uh, yeah, definitely come to meet up in the area. You need to. Just let us know because sometimes uh, when people show up, uh, I'm always at home. But if somebody's up over there and uh, my sister or whoever's over there working, they will usually call me and say, so-and-so's here. Would you like to come over? And I usually stop what I'm doing and go. Because if somebody, you know, makes the trip, uh, I want to be able to see them. Because, you know, so much of online, you don't get to see face-to-face. -face. And that's just a part of it. Notice I'm not trying to make these uh, even. I'm deliberately kind of making them a little bit like uneven, if you will. Let me put this where y'all can see it. Can y'all see that? Let me turn this down a little bit. Uh, there we go. All right. And I think they're going to be really cute, the porch readers. So, um, and y'all, I've done yard art for years, right? I don't, uh, many, many years. I love it, don't get me wrong. But there's just a lot of times I'm like, okay, we got to do something different because I've seen this design and we got to do, you know, of course you have to do some things that sell that your customers want. That's just part of it. <clears throat> but it's really fun to do new stuff, especially when you've, you know, been doing this as long as I've been doing it. It's really fun. And I hope I never lose that joy, y'all, of doing something new. I mean, sometimes I like painting the old stuff too, you know what I mean? But uh, the new stuff is like, it's pretty exciting. So let's see, we got two witch greeters, porch greeters, a patriotic porch greeter, and two Christmas. So five. So five. Uh, do I have a CNC or a laser? Hey, Mary, how are you? And uh, that's Sherry. Sherry, we have actually two CNC's. We have one here in Pearland, and then Ashley has one at her house. We've had those the longest, and then we have a, uh, oh, you might think of it as a desktop laser. It's a Glowforge, and it's a small one. Now, maybe next year, we are contemplating getting a big laser. If we get the big laser, y'all, you have no idea the signs that we could make with the big laser. So the difference is your CNC, it's really designed to cut bigger stuff. It can cut littler stuff, but the vacuum pump on it is hard to get it to suck down to cut down really intricate things, right? So I really have my eye on this big laser that I want. And honestly, y'all, Bruce would go out and buy the laser for me today. If, if, the, if the, the laser, the price of the laser and all that is not the problem. The problem is... And the reason we don't have a big laser right now is because we don't have a place to put it. We have so many, many uh, things that we just, we're, we're just out of space. You know, by the time you have the paint party room and then we have that shop and then of course the area for the customers to check out. And I live right down the road from the shop, but my house is pretty maxed out too. I got all kinds of stuff over here. Is this sign available as a template? You know what, Heidi, I have not made it available, but I will. I, I just have not done it. I have the template, I haven't listed it on the website. But I need to do that along with, uh, I'll show y'all the other one in a minute. The, uh, there's actually three of them that are kind of look. And see, just the little time I'm putting these polka dots on, even though if you're not, you might not be a polka dot person, right? You might, that might not be your thing, and that's cool, but it's a quick way, a surefire way, an easy way to get design on, on here, you know, to add some uh, interesting design to something that's kind of boring or plain. And so all I did is just sit here while I was talking, just kind of kept putting it on here, and just, I do about a quarter turn And you can tell to me, I'm going to put this back where y'all can see it. Oh, Heidi says I'm a polka dot person. So when you look at that, I did not do anything very difficult on this piece. There's only three colors on here. But I think it looks really good because of the polka dots and the coordinating colors. Red, uh, yellow, black, and white. Now, I did this other one already in the academy, and I did it this way. So 
The pole, let me turn this over so you can see it. If you want, if you like the ladybug one, you can do that just as the circle, right? And it comes with a, a green safe. Or you could do this and then you could buy the pole. I think it, it comes separate, but it would come here, right? You could buy the pole and paint the pole white. If I was doing this, I'd paint this black and I'd paint the pole white. And on my white pole, I would do black polka dots. So then you kind of have a coordinating um, pattern going. And it's the same kind of concept here, but I, I like uh, oop, Lord, I like that butterfly one, but I have to say with only three colors on here, I'm really feeling this one. So anyway, that's what we got. I'll come on tomorrow and do, hold on now, I'll show y'all. I think I had this other one. Up. Okay. I'll come on tomorrow night and do this one. It's a ladybug, right? So you have ladybug, bumblebee, or butterfly. And they all can come with a pole. If you want the pole, if you don't want the pole, you don't have to do that. You can just do um, the round. And hey, I'll try to remember tomorrow or Monday to get the template on there. And, excuse me, so if you want to buy the template, you can do that. Isn't it cute? And there's not much to it. It's really easy. And here's the thing about this, y'all. It's good year round. I mean, I, definitely summertime, but you can, you can have it outside a long time, not just for a holiday. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to be on tomorrow night doing the ladybug. We have, this coming week, we'll be doing a lot of patriotic, uh, I think we have three or four new patriotic designs. And uh, as soon as I get the witch porch greeters, which is what I'm really excited about, they're not cut out. Uh, purple lights, orange lights, it's going to be cute, it's going to have ribbon. i got to find some Halloween ribbon. Uh, I like how it turned out too, Kathy. Yeah. Thank y'all for hanging out. Y'all have a good one. And I will see y'all tomorrow night, probably about this time, doing the ladybug. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.